everybody welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Nicole and this is Divine Lee Design Studio and today we're here for episode 2 in Quilt Tube Finish It Friday so let's get started Good morning or good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel thank you for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me while I prattle on about the things that I've been working on today I am only going to be talking about one thing because I'm on location and that means that I can't bring everything with me so I sort of just did a lucky dip and uh, yeah I brought a couple of things with me so I have made a little bit of progress this week I've just been slowly working on it it's been incredibly hot down here in Brisbane uh, I definitely not used to the humidity <laughs> feel like the Wicked Witch of the West and I'm melting so yeah so it has been a little bit hot um, so I've been doing a lot of filming outside um, where I can and for booktube and all that sort of stuff but anyway um, it's another scorcher of a day today not many clouds although looking in the camera it looks like there's a heap of clouds behind us but there isn't it's blue sky as far as the eye can see it's just very hazy and very humid um, I, yeah I'm just dripping in sweat and I'm so not used to it but anyway uh, as you would have seen uh, last week we had the um, the first episode of Finish It Friday Quilt Tube go up uh, and this is where I'm going to be working on projects and everything that are a priority. Now I had a couple of questions from people uh, via email, messenger and all that sort of stuff where certain projects were and all that sort of stuff. The projects that I showed in last week's video is they are all my priority ones. They are the ones that are, are the closest to a finish that I can get off the shelf really quickly to give me that sense of achievement. Um, you know some need a little bit more than others and some are getting scaled back down and changed completely because it's been years and years and years since I've worked on them so <laughs> I thought that it would be best if I just get rid of those ones first and they're the ones that I'm looking at all the time because they're on my priority shelf um, and I think that there was seven all up if I remember correctly um, so I brought a couple with me down to Brisbane um, I limited for room in the car and all that sort of stuff although anybody that's been on one of my retreats know I can pack a car really well but I didn't want to bring my entire house with me so I just picked a couple of projects and I picked ones that are relatively easy to progress in and all that sort of stuff so I this week worked on and I'm just working on one each week so um, this one I worked on uh, a couple of times this week um, just sewing bits and pieces on and I've taken some uh, like footage of that and I'm going to insert all that in um, so let's cut to um, what I've been getting up to and all that sort of stuff so I work just so you know I did in case I don't say it in the videos um, that I took I did work on my heart quilt and tried to get as many um, of those things as done as possible all right so let's cut to the vlog footage that I took so you can see what I got up to during the week and then when we come back I'll show you what I've got done because I didn't take final footage of the hearts and all that sort of stuff so I'll show you all the ones that I've got done and where I'm going to progress from there. Right. hi everybody I'm on location at my daughter's place and as you just seen I was doing some chain piecing and I'm making the hearts for the heart quilt that 
I am putting together. Um, this has a lot of chain piecing in it, so it makes it super easy to sit down and just do some stuff. Why I haven't done it until now, I do not know. But <laughs> you know how it is. You, you have best intentions and then they get waylaid and, and all that sort of stuff. So basically what I've done now is I have just put the bottom white squares on to create the bottom of the heart. And now with these ones, I will have to do the top part. And there's a four... Uh, squares that I will sew on because we're doing a stitch and flip method with this one and um, Yeah, so I've already done some this morning just to show you what I'm going to do because I won't film all of that Because that's going to take me some time But I've got them in sets of pairs over here so you can see with this one. I've just added the um, The little squares onto the end and of course this you'll be able to purchase the the sizing and all that sort of stuff for the um, for the quilt uh, once I've put it all together and all that sort of stuff. This is just one that I had um, some fabric and I also had some uh, 10 inch squares that I'm using. I think they were 10 inch squares and I have to measure them and stuff like that. But anyway, um, that's what I've got to do next. So I've got all those ones that I just did then, which you've seen, uh, to put these little uh, squares on and it's the same for the other piece as well. So when they get cut, they will flip out and um, yeah, so then that makes one side of the heart and then the other one does exactly the same thing and then that makes the other side of the heart. And then we sew them together to create the heart. All right, so I'm going to continue on with that. I've got all my little squares already done. And uh, yeah, so basically I will just um, snip these apart and put them into piles and um, down here on the desk as I did before. And uh, yeah, we just uh, lay them out how I know that they're going to lay and uh, then basically we are good to go. Um, so I'll just turn it down so you can see. Let me just bring the camera around so you can see. All right, so you can see here that that's how the, this will roll back and it'll create the heart. So then basically what I have to do on the top here is um, put the little squares to for the finish off of the heart and I've got all that little pile there <laughs> to do uh, as I said I'm on location at my daughter's place so it's I'm just sort of making the best of what I can at the moment and I've brought what I can with me um, and this hopefully will be able to get all the hearts together and I'll show you what the block looks like when it's done so that's what one of our blocks will look like and as you can see I've got several already done and uh, yeah so they're going to look absolutely stunning once it's finished all right, I'm going to continue on with that and then uh, I'll check in when I'm working on something else. Okay, so I have got all of my uh, white squares on, so now I'm going to give them a press and then I'm going to uh, cut off my corners and basically I will hold on to all of these um, cut pieces and turn them into pinwheels because that is a lot of fabric to waste. Um, so I'm going to try and incorporate some of those half square triangles into the border or somewhere in the quilt, maybe on the back, maybe a different quilt, I don't know yet make a lap quilt or something like that but we have them all done they are in pairs now so I'm going to give these all a press before I cut them and then once I'm finished uh, pressing those 
and uh, cutting those then I will sew the hearts together. Okay so we have managed to get all these pressed and now what we're going to do is cut off our bits of fabric uh, that don't need to be part of the heart. So you can see there that I am just placing my ruler on the quarter inch mark and you can see the line is still drawn. Uh, so we're cutting a quarter inch away from that uh, line that we drew and sewn. Uh, on these little components so as you can see I'm putting the scraps over into piles because I want to actually use these for um, either pinwheels to make a cushion cover or maybe a table topper or something along those lines and or maybe even be able to incorporate some of these into the quilt um, say into the border or something like that so I'm thinking that I'm going to end up having a cornerstone uh, on the border and uh, then that way I can just use some of the scraps and um, to be honest I don't think I really want to overcomplicate things I just want to keep it nice and simple um, so I will do something with those scraps because I mean it's better to do something than nothing at all um, so yeah you can see here that uh, it, it goes together pretty quickly there were some that I were already cut down the bottom like I'd already cut the big one off all those um, half square triangles are over in the container that I have everything in but I made pretty good progress on this week I'm um, for this week so I'm pretty happy with that considering I'm on location and I don't have all of my projects here to work on so yeah all right I'm going to keep doing uh, this and uh, when we come back I'll talk a little bit more about what I've done Alright, so you can see there that I got a, a little bit done each day. As I said, it's incredibly hot here and so I, the last thing I really want to do with no air conditioning is sit in a hot stifling house. Um, but I managed to get uh, all uh, 17 hearts done. I had 17 cut and ready to go. So I managed to get them done and this is what they are looking like. So you can see there we've got a purple one, we've got a pink and we've got a blue um, now I'm just making up a pattern as I go so you can see there we've got quite a number of them and so at the moment I have 22 of them okay I also said in that clip too that I was going to um, be using the leftovers to do pinwheels and stuff like that so it will wholly and solely depend depend on what I can make out of those so whether I'll be able to use them whether they'll be cornerstones or maybe just scattered throughout the border or whether I'll just not do anything like that at all and just make a little um, lap quilt or something like that will have it, it will just depend how much I've got left so right now I have 22 hearts made I need to make another 10 now I have this fabric here so I I'm thinking that I'm probably going to use the pink as the binding or I'm sorry the green as the binding um, 
so I'm, I've got to work out how big it's going to be and everything before I can cut that but I will be able to cut a, a strip off for each of these and I should be able to get another 10 out of all these colors so I've got a dark green I've got a blue then I've got a pink and then I've got that lime green now there's not much there's not much of this lime green in there so I'm definitely going to be cutting some of those maybe two or three of those um, I'll definitely be adding some pink in definitely adding some more blue in and definitely adding some more of that green in so I need to get 10 all up and then I need to cut I think the same again in white squares now I don't know if I've got enough white fabric here but let me just check one two three four Yeah, I've got to cut 32 um, squares. So I have to square up the blocks and all the rest of it. And this is the only white fabric that I bought with me. So I'm not 100% sure if I have enough there. So I was just going to use that plain white. Um, and then I was probably just going to use a multicolored um, thread to quilt it. Um, just to fill in some of that negative space and all the rest of it and I was thinking that I'll probably do hearts because I have a little pattern there that is a heart within a heart and I was thinking that I'm going to do that so I definitely have enough fabric here to cut some more and even um, stuff for the border I don't know I'm thinking see I was thinking this green for the for the binding but I'm also thinking maybe the pink would be nice I don't know we'll see what stands out in the quilt once we've got it all together I'm just going to put um as I said I'm going to use some of the scraps and everything and see if I can't use them in the uh, in the borders rather it's a very simple quilt that I'm doing it's just basically going to have one plain border around it it's just a point of getting this finished now um and all that sort of stuff and this one will probably go on little M's bed to be honest um or maybe on mine you never know it's a how much I like because it's going to be a pretty big quilt so um, I think these blocks are coming in at nine and a half but I haven't measured any of them yet I haven't squared any of them up because I actually don't have any rulers here um, and whatnot so the, this will probably get to the point where um, I've cut some of the white squares and everything like that but then I'm going to have to finish it at home because I didn't bring a square ruler with me and I'm not going to go and buy a square ruler uh, if Savannah should travel at home I'll just say to her can you grab my 12 inch ruler and bring it down and then I can just go and grab that off her alternatively I could duck over to my friend's place and see if I can't borrow one of her rulers but that is what I've got done I'm really happy I love this purple I'm just sort of wishing I had more of this purple because I love this purple and the colors are just so vibrant like it's just going to look absolutely stunning once it's finished it's simple but effective you know like that's what I'm going for like even these greens here are absolutely stunning so 22 of the hearts are now done I just have to they're all being ironed and pressed and everything going the right way so I'm trying to keep them nice and neat of course I can press them again if I need to but that is what I got done this week so it's a short and sweet video this week um, because as I said I'm on location so I'm not working on multiple things uh, I will continue working on this this week and probably something else as well uh, I do have um, I do have a foundation paper piecing one with me that I've got to pull the pieces off but I didn't bring any extra fabric with me to finish it so it's probably going to take me a week to get all that paper off anyway um so yeah me didn't want to help me <laughs> this week otherwise I would have had that done as well but um yeah so basically I'm just going to plot along and do some I brought some English paper piecing with me I brought the foundation paper piecing and I also brought uh there was a roll of fabric that I knocked over that didn't have a uh, thing around it so it's been open I don't know who opened it but I might have opened it once upon a time I can't remember but it's been opened and I think it is 10 inches by five inches wide so I was thinking that I might be able to make that up into a quick lap quilt for Mia Mia gets a lot of my quilts um, for her to to use and uh, up at home I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it I'm thinking I'm just going to do it in a basic brick and I'll maybe add some white into that just to build it out a little bit and see how we go um, with that I also have um, some light green and stuff with me here in fabric that I might be able to incorporate into it if it matches nicely and then that way I can make a little lap quilt for her and then she's got something to use when she's up at home or she could keep it here it's up to her but that is it for me today I'd just like to say thank you very much for the response that I had for the uh, first video it was quite uh, lovely to see and I hope that you enjoyed the first video if you haven't already seen that it is linked up down below so you can go and check that out 
and uh, yeah and uh, tune in again next Friday to see what I get up to but as I said that is it for me today have a wonderful day everybody I hope that you get lots of crafting in and uh, don't forget to like subscribe as and do all the things and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video bye for now